During the summer of 1970, a unique event took place in the history of rock and roll. A collection of the world's greatest bands boarded a private train for five days. Their plan, to party and jam across Canada. This is the story of Festival Express. Just imagine putting a bunch of crazy musicians together and telling them to go have a good time. Not a problem. This train was not for sleeping. It was potted all night long was a train full of insane people making music night and day, and then occasionally we'd get off the train and go play a concert. Don't ease, don't ease. Don't ease me in. By this point, it had reached Canada, the idea that all these festivals really should be free. There are a hell of a lot of people out there. They're having their heads busted by the pig. All these kids got uptight because the admission was too high, and they decided they were going to have a riot. You have to remember, man, that somebody put their neck out to put on a festival here. They didn't have to do it. You know, this train was happy until we stopped. This is the part of this train tour we've been waiting for. Created from a treasure trove of footage lost for 30 years. Yeah, I've loved you ever since the day I saw you. Featuring onstage performances by the band, the Flying Burrito Brothers, Grateful Dead, Buddy Guy, Janis Joplin, and a host of others. Variety called it an instant classic. It was a great experience. The Village Voice says it's the holy grail of classic rock dogs. It was better than Woodstock. They sure showed us a good time, baby. Festival Express. 